What up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Bleach. Today we're doing episodes 37 through 40. We left off on a crazy moment. I cannot wait to jump back in there. If you guys notice, I am rocking some Bleach merch. Love me that girl Rukia. That's why we're here doing our thing to save her. Um, don't forget, if you guys want the full uncut versions of these reactions as well as 16 episodes early access, check out that Patreon. Links are down below, like always. We're live on Twitch watching this. It's always a vibe watching these live with you guys. So come on over to the Twitch, twitch.tv slash And uh, if you don't mind following me, on, following me on all my other social medias, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, all at Dapperdarius. I'm not going to waste any more time. Bleach, episode 37. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Episode 37. My boy Chad getting confronted already. Whereas normally I'd agree with you, we've heard that from some other people. More than five. I mean, we did just see him bust through this wall, but shout out Mr. Yoroichi for the training. My man Chad is really a demon out here. I need to know more details about his actual power, though. Oh, no. Is that a, is a flower petal? We got Kyo Ra. Oh, landing down so gracefully. I've always said my favorite part about his design is his pink kimono. He looks wavy. Like, like I would want to dress like that if I go to Japan. He looks incredible. But a captain confronting my boy, I do not like this. It was just supposed to be for his entrance. <laughs> I thought he was just being swaggy with the flower petals. Oh. With our goal at hand, saving Rukia, sadly, we can't do that. I am nervous, though. So far, all the captains we've seen have been just on completely different levels. I'm down. I don't know if he's trying to trick us or if he's genuinely that chill. You got some sake, some soju? Let's get down. Come on. Uh, our chat is very strict and by the book, you know. Hitting him with one of his blasts. Bro, those blasts are crazy. Man's looking like Kuma out here, the way he just seamlessly repelled that. Like it was literally nothing. We cut back to who do we cut back to? Is this still Chad and him? Chad and Kuraku's going like that? And he's just still sitting there drinking sake? Yeah, that's the thing. Such a different level. I mean, you look at the lieutenants we know, like, can have seen. Renji and Byakuya, not even comparable. Is that what Chad is doing? So he can theoretically keep pushing it, but he would be draining his. Oh my god. I actually like the POV shot we're cutting me to. My man is tumbling. He's actually been very cordial. Shout out Kiraku. I wonder if anything of his opinion is going to change after we tell him. Come on. Hey. She risked her life to save us when we, you know, we were going through some stuff, so. I, I like his reasoning. You're a friend of my homie. You're my friend, too. Why, Ch why Chad's a real one. He realizes the resolve this man has. If you're that determined, I, I respect that. It would be insulting. But now he realizes he has to fight. It's the only way to stop him. Shit's getting real. Little Chad flashback. We know he would just never fight back. He would just tank any and everything. 
A rock that was crazy. Shout out the boy Ishigo. It's Sato. He's like Chato. That's why he'll fight for someone else. That's why I shout out a Buelo. He won't fight for himself, but he'll fight for others. I respect that. Oscar Joaquin de la Rosa. Shout out my Spanish influence. He's Mexican. That's the boy. Shout out. These friends of the gang we were just beating up. I love the song when they play it. Mm. So he had to live with Grandpa? Makes more sense why he went to Mexico. This song just be hitting different. He was wearing that coin. I'm curious if it was just a gift he gave us when we were leaving back to Japan or if. Sadly, you know, if Abuelo passed away. The Karakura Alliance? The Karakura Alliance? Oh, these guys are wiling. Oh, yeah, you're wiling. Because he heard, overheard on the phone. Oh, you are wiling, Buster. So now we get to see how he got it. And it's the same thing, like how Chad is now. He's just tanking it. Not to protect yourself, it's to protect others. Damn, man. I respect people like that, you know? That appreciate and realize the things people did do and did for him you know i gotta assume that was abuelo's grave you know let's go ichigo like chad was already my favorite character in bleach and now he's just i fuck with him even harder you know genuinely a good-hearted individual somebody call an ambulance but not for me <laughs> He's literally doing that meme. <laughs> You're gonna need five individual ones. That's why I'll throw punches for you. You throw punches for me, I'll throw punches for you. W friendship, W mans. That's the vow. It's a promise. So now we're cutting back to him with Kiraku and the promise that Chad, you know. Greatly placed flashback right there. Greatly placed flashback. I did not realize how close those two were back in the day, you know? I don't still don't think this is going to go well, though. The guitar is hitting, bro. As we cut back and forth, what is going to happen? Oh, my. I was just about to say, that was such a fucking powerful punch from Chad, but... These captains are literally too different. Oh, that was a fucking crazy way to do it to be continued. There's no shot. All right, Bleach episode 38. Higher title card. My boy Kyoraku just fucking gave the work to Chad. I feel so bad. My boy Ichigo is full out running from Kenpachi. Completely understandable. Last time we saw Kenpachi, he said, hey, help me at least knock the rest off this old thing. Which the design of his Anpakuto is so interesting. How it's like completely saw-like with the, with the teeth in there, but it's like rough. It's not like a cut-out saw where it's perfect, you know? It's like a jagged edge. I don't like playing tag with weaklings. His whole goal was to fight you because you said you were the strongest of the group. With the dent in the ground as he... You know who Kenpachi is so strong. Sadly, yes. 
I don't even know how I, you being in a situation like this would even be able to defeat them. You literally can't cut them. Rid fear of yourself. Look forward. True. He is telling himself I can win. I respect his confidence. Sometimes a mindset change is all you need. Oh, that's ass. See, I've been saying this from the beginning of this arc. How are we going to save Rukia? I love it. I respect it. I love this girl, but how are we going to save her? At least he gives him the flowers, you know. Gives him some respect where he deserves it. Are we gonna get the message? Oh, that would be news. That would be a shock to most people. Only the lieutenants were there. But we know Hinamori got a note from him that we didn't get to see that either. Oh, I wanted to know how he felt about Aizen. I want to know more about the inner workings of the relationships between the captains and the lieutenants, you know? Because obviously Renji and Byakuya is not the best relationship. Byakuya doesn't really get along with the other captains as well. I'm curious. Is Shunsui going to say no? Don't kill him? Me? I'm starting to like Shunsui. That's a good fake reason. Now that, that would be ludicrous. I think based off the very small conversation Junsui and Chad had, he has some modicum of respect for him, you know? He looks determined now. Imagine if Ichigo actually beats Kenpachi. We cut him. It's a great start. Spirit playing my song. It's only making him more happy, though. This is where the fun begins. Yeah, he doesn't really get to let out some of his fighting bloodlust every, you know, too often. Don't end the episode there. Oh, don't even cut away. Right into replacing him. Well, now they're going to be full force in stopping the Ryuka, a.k.a. us. Bro's got 69 tattooed on his cheek. Man of culture. So that's Tosin, black man. He's my favorite design so far in all of Bleach. He's willing to just grab that, bring you in for the stab. Good move, good dodge also. Kick to release the grip. I do love the bells in his hair though. Is his eye actually not injured at all? He just wants you to be able to he wants to lower his vision. You can hear when he's coming make it a little more challenging for him What the hell? Yes, I do want to see it though Really Oh, it's just that's what it's always I really like the hilt He's like, Ichigo's like, okay, this is actually doable then. <laughs> I physically can't seal it in. Pause. 
He's been toying with us. Oh, hell no. He can just cut through our Zanpak, though? There's no shot. He just cut ours in half. And Hachi still doesn't even seem like he's trying in the slightest. We need Hanataro. Heal us up. I don't know what we're going to be able to do. Doesn't want to die. He wants to save Rukia. I do love that shot of Kenpachi just scraping his sword of Zanbakuto on the floor. We got Zangetsu Spirit. Ooh. Don't end the episode here. Oh, I'm glad I'm watching more. I got goosebumps. What shit's going to happen? All right. This is right where we left off. Talk about a title screen. I love how while we're having this little conversation, time is frozen. And I'll take you there. Man's got like a Kingdom Hearts dream sequence right now. What's going on? Where are we falling? Oh, we're back in the Inception realm. <laughs> I had to make sure, unlike last time, he's not going to fall. He makes a valid point. Yeah. He just throws it? Is this on some Legend of Zelda shit that's Shadow Ichigo? Negative Ichigo? It's literally... Whether you deserve to wield me. That's so interesting that he is Zangetsu. That's not... Okay. All great animes have you fighting yourself at one point. But we're at a severe disadvantage. Because we have an unnamed Zanpakuto that's lowly ranked. I like that visualization. It's literally like we're holding a stick compared to the amount of energy that Zanpakuto has. Zangetsu is different. Yeah, I would have never thought to swing it around like that. It's so dangerous. It's so heavy and big. Pause. That's a fair point. That's all we did last time. But, you know, it's time for development. Okay. Crazy to think about. I wonder if other Soul Reapers can talk to their spirit of their Zanpakuto, though. That's still crazy to me. We've determined we want to know more about Zangetsu. Once we beat you, ooh, there's going to be some power-ups. I respect it. Let me wield you again. Let me fight with you. Ooh, as it switches places, wants to know more about it. I want to know more about Zangetsu like crazy, so I'm right there with you. As time cuts back to normal, he's still lying there bleeding, but now he's about to stand up. Kenpachi's like, whoa, what is this I'm feeling? Let me go back. I thought White Ichigo was merely just like an aberration, a clone. What do you mean, let me go back? As he gets a... What on earth is going on? As he gets absorbed back into his cloak. Hours going. Alright, Mustang. I want to know so much more about Zangetsu. This is Ichigo's inner world, you know? And I love the slight, like, echo he has in his voice, you know? You thought it was over?
No hesit- Oh! My god! Ichi motherfucking go! We got Kenpachi on the back burner playing defensive now? I love using the sword to stop yourself. Bro, the double slash? Okay, Ichigo. Oh my god! Kenpachi doesn't care. He just tanks that. You guys have completely different mindsets. Relish in death and pain. I to a certain point get what he's saying. This man is high off the pain right now. Okay, this man is Kakashi. He said, I need both eyes right now. I always just assumed his other eye was injured. That's why he covered it from like a scar or was missing, but no. Bachi really does not seem like the type to stoop, you know, cheap tricks. Oh. Oh. That was clean. Round three. Cries of his sword. I see. We most certainly can, Zangetsu, at least for now. That goes without saying. Mm. That's the difference between you. Ichigo works together with his. You use yours as a tool? Ooh. Uh. I was not expecting this level of fighting on episode 30-ish of Bleach. Like, what on earth is going on? We got our shit dug into his shoulder. Oh, he got us right back in the chest. Oh. After we just had that... We just leveled this whole area. Oh, hell no. All right, Bleach episode 40, crazy title card. Here we go, last episode of the session. Cannot believe after all, I wasn't expecting us to beat a squad captain, come on, especially Kenpachi, but we got some crazy power-ups and we can demolish him in certain aspects. Look at that. Oh, wow. I did not realize we cut his Zanpakuto in half and technically defeated him. That was like a draw. Essentially, we lost too. We're giving him a strong fight. Try not to die. Hopefully, we can do this again sometime. Their personalities are so interesting. Ganju, maybe Hanataro. I mean, I know they're going to get Rukia. Maybe you can come back for a second, Hilas. I'll go with you. Mr. Yoruichi. I love seeing you again. What do you think of the fight? I wish you had seen it. I wish you had seen us. So you know the details. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Much appreciated. That's why we love you.
What was he doing? Is this how we first? Is this how Ken Pyle? She was like real deal baby. Look at a Kenpachi and a young Yachiru. What the hell? He is not scared at all. It's just hey, that's some blood. Cool. Wow. I mean, it makes much more sense why she is happy just to see him happy. They have a really close, very interesting relationship. I did not realize it was like that. <laughs> He's happy just like she is. Round two of that fight is going to go insane. There's some truth to that, but it's not quite like that. I wonder if he's going to take any advice on that. There's some depth to Kenpachi. I thought he was just going to be big man like fighting, but no. There's some, there's some nuance to his character. I'm liking this. Hey, I, what time, man? What time? The first time he's felt the drive like this, ambition like this for a while. Little does Ichigo know, he just put Kenny on the path to greater achievements, greater heights. He doesn't even know anything about Rukia. It's, it's actually very interesting how invested Ganju is in helping us. W mans. What's up, girly? Great to see you again. Wait. As we know on some deeper shit that Ganju is somewhat here to get answers for his brother, so. I don't like Ganju's reaction right now. And we saw a cut of Rukia holding a dead body this episode. He is... Don't tell me this is how this is gonna go. He was... Oh. oh my lord. That's why she said Lord Kyan. I need to know that whole story. What the hell? Rookie doesn't seem like the type of person that would kill someone in cold blood, you know? There has to be context. Who is, bro, what are these episodes? Oh, is this Squad Captain 13? They said he was sick, right? Oh. Now Byakuya's here? This is worst timing. He's the one who wants Rukia dead more than any of the captains. One of the four noble houses. Of course he is. Anataro is a real one. He knows he stands absolutely zero chance. I like how he's inspired a lot by Ichigo too. Anataro, man, you are growing on me. He's gonna fight him instead. Also, W Ganju. Anataro and him are some real ones. Oh no. Is this where the episode's gonna end? Man, they be hitting us with the 2B continues, bro. Pisses me off. All right. So far, Bleach has been absolutely fantastic. I don't know why, but the pacing is so good. They take no breaks. You go from Chad, Shunsui, to Kenpachi and Ichigo. Ichigo losing power up, little in head monologue sequence. Then guess who's cool? Immediately Ganju's like, I'm like, damn, bro, shit's going off everywhere. I got no time to even think about it. Um, 
No, like genuinely, there's so much going on between Aizen being murdered, Kenpachi possibly being dead. I don't want him to be dead though, because I would love for him to get stronger, especially with the whole flashback of his name and uh, Yachiru and all that. I really enjoy their relationship with that aspect. He really is nameless. Um, then Getsu with White Ichigo in like the little inner world, Inception world is going crazy power-ups mr yoroishi said we did good he's not gonna let us die i still haven't seen ishida and orihime in a minute i would like to see them again i was completely not expecting rukia to be the killer of ganju's brother and i i'm hoping there's more context to that because i don't think it'd be that wet and dry but who knows about rukia and her past Maybe Ichigo is one of the people who softened her up and changed her. You know, so fuck with my girl, man. I love you. But we got to know what's going on with that. Kenpachi versus Ichigo so far is my favorite fight. Like, I just love that aspect. And I love the maybe ideology or morality of Kenpachi changing to maybe work to get to know his Zanpakuto a little more, you know? I love what Zangetsu said. Like, you know, we're fighting together. They're not. You can hear his sword crying out. You know if they fight just for themselves it's gonna weaken one you know it's, it's like damn you know there's some there's some depth to that overall fire episodes fire fights fire music fire flashbacks everything with chad and abuelo everything's hitting right now on all those bleach little itches you know what i'm saying it's scratching that itch um hopefully you guys enjoyed these reactions if you did please leave a like on this video let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section check out the patreon full access uncuts early access up to 16 episodes and come follow me on twitch because that's where we watch these live it's always a vibe um i'm gonna drink some water tell someone you love them because you never know when a hollow is gonna come after him have a great day to squad peace out <laughs>